All right, I'm back to continue my work on the circular saw. If you remember, I'm responsible for the rotating guard handle. I completed the work for the design of the 3D model in X Design on my MacBook Pro. Now, I'm back to create some documentation so other team members and possibly fabricators could take a look. Remember, these X apps don't care if I'm running Windows, Mac OS X, or Linux. So I'm choosing to do my work here on my MacBook Pro. Now, in this case, David assigned some tasks to team members. I have the task to complete the documentation here in the Collaborative Task Planner application. This comes with the Collaborative Industry Innovator role. There's a lot of reasons to use tasks. You can see who is working on what, when it's due, but maybe the most important thing is that I can attach and create deliverables. So back in the platform, I'll select my design tab in my dashboard. The rotating guard handle is right on my main screen as I've been working on it here in the last few days. I'm already in X document here, but remember, you can just press the X key and that will allow you to switch to other X apps. Also, the design here was done in a previous video in X design. X document is the app that will ultimately allow me to create PDF files for fabrication purposes. Here, there are a myriad of options for the document. I can change units and precision, along with font settings as well. I'd want to set that up first. Next, I'll create a few orthogonal views. This will be used in a minute when we create our dimensions and tolerances. We can also create isometric views and auxiliary views very easily. Now, we have our front right and top views along with a quick isometric and auxiliary view. I'll first work in my right view. I can establish our dimensions here. One of the things I like very much in any of the X apps is the click and see approach. I can select these dimensions an X document will let me do the most typical drawing things. Think rotate text, add text before or after dimensions, or work with tolerances and geometric tolerances. So I'll straighten up our diameter dimensions, pop a quick tolerance on it, and select OK. The purpose of the radius here truly is to break the sharp, make it easier to machine and also have a nicer feel to the individual that is interfacing with that part. So I'll throw a typical note on that dimension. I can also add notes that get attached to the view as well. I'll switch to the front view Maybe that top surface will be noted as a reference datum, and I'll apply a surface finish mark. There's a lot of additional options for that, but for now, I'll just leave it to the default characteristic. In a few clicks, I've established the most critical dimensions in this view. As I switch to the isometric view, you can see all of the annotations and dimensions that have been applied. 
we will start to wrap this up by marking up the top view. It's really quick. Notes are very easy. It may be a benefit here to pop in a quick radius note. Last, our output. Here I'll select our 2D PDF on the action bar, select what views that we want populated, and whether that file should go to the local disk or our 3D drive. I'll choose 3D Drive to get a shareable link so that I can immediately send it to our external collaborator. We can also choose from a number of default paper sizes along with custom orientation if needed. Remember, PDFs can be viewed in 3D Play, so I don't have to install anything. But again, that PDF can be shared downstream in any number of ways. That's it, this thing is ready to be made. Check out XDocument, it's a really cool app that will get you up and running with drawing creation in no time on any device, anywhere.